The solar industry is engaged in a fierce race to expand rapidly, and Elon Musk has recently introduced a revolutionary power cell that has never been seen before. This new technology boasts lower costs and an infinite supply of energy, which sets it apart from the conventional silicone photovoltaic solar cell created and produced in the United States in 1950 that can be found on residential rooftops and solar farms. So what is this new solar power cell made of, you may ask? Well, in today's video, we will dive deeper into this groundbreaking discovery. But before we proceed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our exciting videos. At present, crystalline silicone constitutes around 90% of all solar panels produced worldwide, and the industry is expanding at an annual rate of approximately 30%. However, Tesla has made a significant breakthrough by discovering a material that is cheaper, lighter, and easier to produce. This new solution features ferroelectric crystals, which are incredibly thin and powerful enough to power an entire house. Moreover, the demand for polysilicone, the primary component of solar panels, has caused the cost of crucial materials to surge to an all-time high due to production delays. The most expensive grade of polysilicone now costs $40.62 per kilogram, which is higher than the previous high of $40.34 from the previous year. Therefore, Tesla's new solar power cell is expected to revolutionize the solar industry by providing a cheaper and more efficient solution. To manufacture polysilicone for solar panels, the silicone metal must first be purified to 99.99%. The issue is that if the silicone crystallizes in the center of the reactor where the silicone rods are formed, the whole process is ruined. Therefore, Tesla had to find an alternative to silicone, which required a lot of energy to keep at the proper temperature. Tesla's solution was ferroelectric crystals, which have an energy output that a factor of 1000 can increase. Unlike traditional silicone cells, Ferroelectric crystals do not require a PN junction, so there is no need to add positively and negatively doped layers of cells. This alteration makes it easier to manufacture solar panels, and the cost is significantly reduced because ferroelectrics, such as barium titanate, can be used. Tesla no longer needs to mine the earth for raw materials and does not need to invest a lot of money in highly skilled labor or sophisticated equipment to support production. This ferroelectric panel, could cost up to 10 times less per watt than conventional silicone solar panels in the solar market. Tesla solar panels are expected to cost approximately $2.21 per watt before the federal solar tax credit, but with the ferro electric panel, the price per watt is only 22 cents. Previously, silicone solar panel costs were a significant concern, but with this new technology, individuals who cannot afford them now have a cost-effective option. However, it raises the question of how much energy the ferroelectric panel can actually produce, given the low price. In the first quarter of 2022, the US added 3.9 gigawatts of solar PV capacity, bringing the total installed capacity to 126.1 gigawatts of direct current, which is enough to power 22 million homes in the country. In the first quarter of the year, solar accounted for half of the 50% increase in the new electricity generating capacity in the US. According to Elon Musk, Tesla's new ferroelectric crystal solar cell is a game changer as it produces more energy than ever. Researchers built crystalline layers of barium titanate, strontium titanate, and calcium titanate to stack them alternately on top of one another, separating positive and negative charges in a single solar device. By experimenting with several material combinations, the researchers found that mixing very thin layers of various materials considerably boosts the solar energy yield. Using a high-intensity laser to vaporize the crystals and then redeposit them on carrier substrates resulted in a material that has 500 layers and is 200 nanometers thick. The new photoelectric material exposed to laser light had a current flow that was 1,000 times greater than pure barium titanate and even more effective even after cutting the base element's amount in the mixture by roughly two-thirds. An enormous 11.34 kilowatt Tesla solar array using the ferroelectric cell can generate 1.5 million kilowatt hours weekly. The development strategy for ferroelectric cells is a significant step forward for Tesla and the renewable energy industry. In the future, 
it is anticipated that this sale will enable Elon Musk to realize his goal of supplying the entire country of the US with electricity. More solar energy could lead to various new applications, such as incorporating solar panels into mobile public transportation or structures with translucent windows that produce power. While ferroelectric solar cells offer a lot of promise, some challenges still need to be addressed. One issue is the short lifespan of thin coatings due to high temperatures. However, Tesla is working on a solution by developing a thin film that can withstand these temperatures. This development could lead to a revolution in ferroelectric materials with potential applications in computer memory capacitors and other electric devices. Silicon solar panels have a lifespan of 25 years, but because the ferroelectric cell is so new, more research is needed to determine its lifespan. Meanwhile, the future of solar technology extends beyond silicon, with a wide range of substitute materials falling under the category of thin films. One of the most developed thin film solar cell materials is copper indium gallium selenide, or CIGS, which has achieved significant efficiencies comparable to those of crystalline silicon. While CIGS solar devices have faced setbacks, there is still interest in this technology, particularly for inflexible or multifunctional devices. Recently, Booz RV released a new CIGS Thin Film solar panel that has received positive reviews. This novel material can be used in addition to current solar panels and is the company's first foray into thin sheet photovoltaic technology. These thin film solar cells are easier to install, more flexible, stable, and long lasting than silicone based solar cells. In addition, they don't lose efficiency when it's cloudy. As solar technology continues to develop rapidly, it's exciting to think about the potential applications we may see in the future. One of the most significant setbacks for solar panels, including Tesla's, is their efficiency in low sunlight conditions. However, the flexible solar panel from Booz RV, which uses wire-intensive copper, indium, gallium, and selenide technology, is more stable and claims to produce three times as much electricity as a typical solar panel in such conditions. Even when one cell is blocked by shade, the other cells in the module are still able to generate energy through parallel connections. Choosing thin film solar panels for off-grid photovoltaic systems can provide more stability. On a bright sunny day, a 200 watt Tesla solar panel producing 200 watts per hour generates between 70 and 80% of its rated power. This means that it would generate approximately 160 watts of power. However, on a cloudy day, the output drops to around 130 watts, which is insufficient to power a full house. The lifespan of a Texas solar panel is approximately 25 to 30 years, but solar technology is constantly advancing around the world. Bouge RV claims that flexible solar panels have a lifespan of 30 years under continuous usage and 250 years when not in use. But if you're looking for a product to complement your solar panels, Tesla has another offering, Powerwall. So what exactly is Powerwall? It's an energy storage system or a large battery designed by Tesla. When your solar system produces more energy than you use during the day, the excess energy is sent back into the grid. However, with a battery storage system like Powerwall installed, the extra energy can be captured and stored in the battery instead of being sent back to the grid. In conclusion, Tesla's new ferroelectric solar panels and the flexible solar panels from Bouge RV are exciting innovations that offer more stability, increased efficiency, and easier installation. Additionally, Tesla's Powerwall battery storage system complements these solar panels, allowing households to store the energy they produce and use it when needed. As solar technology advances, more options become available for individuals to improve their home autonomy and reduce their reliance on the grid. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these new technologies, so please share your opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching today's episode, and if you enjoyed it, please subscribe and like our video. We'll be back soon with more exciting updates. <laughs>